what's a house for you and what makes it a home this is the question i often get asked and my channel's tagline is similar to hi everybody welcome back i'm disha and i'm here to help you transform your house into a home in today's video which is the first episode of the house to home series i'm going to be answering what makes a house a home in the simplest words a house is just a place where is a home is where happiness begins it's a feeling it's an emotion and it's the reflection of who you are and our today's partner batla echoes the same sentiments that happiness begins at home i'm going to talk more about the brand later in this video now let's begin so my first tip to transform a house into a home would be don't be shy of how your home looks We often think that our home isn't perfect, but is there anything like a perfect home? I think the answer is no. Perfect homes exist only in magazines or on Pinterest and Instagram. A home doesn't need to be perfect, rather it should look lived in. Yes, there can be electronics on the coffee table, clothes on the chair, socks and shoes in the foyer, and a little mess on the desk. As it's a lived in home, and not a model house or a five star hotel try to keep it real and be proud of what you have embrace the flaws of your home because your home is the place where you live life and seek sanctuary from the rest of the world so you should be proud of it not everyone can have the most amazing house but you sure can have a beautiful lived in home now whenever the thought of home shame crawls in your mind just remind yourself that it gives you shelter and it's the place where happiness begins but listen you guys by using the term lived in home in no way i am encouraging you to have a cluttered and unorganized home because there is a world of difference between a lived in and a cluttered home and this brings me to the next tip which is clean and organize your space to transform it from a house into a home I know decluttering can be overwhelming and not so fun especially when your house is full of stuff but thankfully clutter is something that can be treated and we'll do it in some easy steps first you should know what's clutter anything that is not useful beautiful or not adding any value to your life falls into the category of clutter Decluttering is getting rid of such stuff and creating more space for the stuff that truly matters to you and your family and add happiness to your lives. Now before you start decluttering your space, make sure you have enough storage. If that's not the case, you will end up shifting clutter from one place to another. But don't worry, our today's partner Batla has got you covered. The brand believes in the philosophy of adding happiness to the homes and bringing positive change in our lives. Batla is a one-stop destination for all your household product needs. I have got all these products from Batla to organize my home and they are all high quality, convenient and affordable products. like this ironing board it's so convenient that all the family members can use it without any hassle it has wire manager that keeps wire out of the way while ironing aluminum cloth cover saves not just electricity but your time too as it works on heat transfer technology height of the board can be adjusted as per your need it has a rack where you can keep ironed cloths similarly this cloth drying rack is of great quality It's foldable and weather resistant. It has some extra features like socks holder which is quite convenient and it has shoe holders too. Its multi-level design allows you to hang clothes in efficient manner. Here we have sturdy storage bins that I am going to be using to declutter and organize my space. Now I'll be decluttering this space and I'll tackle one space at a time so that it's not frustrating. The idea here is to start small, do it at your own pace, 
feel victorious and then move on to decluttering a little more than earlier. So the very first step is sorting the items. I have seen many videos on organization and truly loved the idea of three box method where you label boxes as trash, keep and donate. Now sort the items accordingly and keep them in their designated box. This helps immensely whenever I declutter any space. The stuff in the keep box can either be stored or relocated as per your need. Throw away the trash and give away the donate box to the needy once it is full. And here is a comfortable, functional and clutter-free space that screams home sweet home. Don't forget to take before and after images. It feels rewarding to see a huge difference. Now spaces like this need only a smart storage solution like these stackable drawer organizers from Batla. It can be used to organize anything like socks, ties, hanky underwear, jewelry, makeup, earphones, stationery, etc. Here you go. Look at this drawer now. So neat. Nothing makes a house a home than the people living in it. And not just people, but all their many belongings too. There is a lot of stuff that a family collects over the period of time like clothes, shoes, furnishings, stationery, books, sporting equipment, art and craft supplies, toys and whatnot. If all this stuff is not given a proper place, then it tends to become clutter. A place that accommodates the need of your family is home. So try to dedicate a place for everything, like stationery and school stuff should be in the storage bin on or under the study desk or keep them in a drawer. I keep my shooting equipment handy next to my desk in my workspace. Similarly, all the reading books of my son have been organized on this DIY tree bookshelf. This way your family members know where they can find their stuff and this will make their lives easier. And by the way, it's not just women's responsibility to organize everything in the home. Since we are talking about transforming a house into a home and home is made up of family members, so all the family members should be involved in maintaining and organizing a home. And it would be even better if you ask them to help each other instead of just doing their own work. That way you will create memories and that's what a home is about. Talking about the memories, home is a place where you not only create but also cherish the memories. And what can be a better way to do it than looking at the old photographs and reliving the moments. Doing up a wall full of family photographs can bring back a lot of happy memories and uplifts your mood. Also, family photos are like personal stamp put on every house that makes it feel more like home. Choose some of your favorite family photographs and put them on the wall to remind the family members how loved and valued they are. It's the nicest and the easiest way to time travel, I bet. Your home is a place where you unwind, relax, feel the most comfortable and rejuvenate. It's like a charging point where you get charged and get ready to take on the world. If you make it a cozy, warm space, then it will definitely serve all these purposes. Adding warmth to your space is no rocket science. Let's do it. My go-to formula to add warmth to any room is to change the lighting from a cool tone to a warm hue. It can be done by adding ambient lighting and by lighting the candles. Warm light instantly changes the mood of your home. Another way to add warmth is to bring in nature indoors, by which I mean adding the greenery. Placing the plants is the easiest and the most effective way to instantly jazz up any space. You need not be worried if you have brown thumb because you can always start with house plants. Indoor plants are easy to care for and they change the look and feel of the room. Clubbing together plants of different sizes and shapes is the key to creating a warm and cozy space. And this brings me to the end of this video. I hope now you will be able to transform your house into a home easily. 
tell me which tip you found the easiest and you will be following to transform your house into a home that's all for today and i'll see you soon in my next video till then watch either this video or this bye bye wish you all love luck and sunshine